what up peeps this is your girl Josh coming back to Real Takes well it's that time you guys since the beginning of the year I had already put out the best uh, movies of 2018 you know from my list I wanted to do a most anticipated uh, list for 2019 now I have said multiple times in a, quite a few of my different um, reactions and my movie updates that we have a lot coming out in 2019 and I'm so here for it I love having a lot to choose from but I already know it's going to be real tough to do that that top 10. It's not going to even be a top 10. I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like I'm going to have to do a top 20 because it might be too many things. Mind you, there's probably some other stuff that we don't even know about that's going to be coming out on the radar for 2019. We're just getting a full breakdown of some of the things that we've seen over the course of last year that's coming out of 019. So I'm just going to give you from what I know is coming out that I know I want to see. And I'm also going to give you guys um, some honorable mentions. I'm going to go ahead and do those first. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So my honorable mentions um, the first one being Once Upon a Time in Hollywood that's starring Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio directed by Quentin Tarantino I'm totally here for it I can't wait to see it I love when they do circuit era certain times um, like what 60s, 70s type of uh, movies I love stuff like that so I'm totally looking forward to this plus with Quentin Tarantino he has a tendency to wait long periods of time in between a lot of his movies so and I know he's only doing a certain amount of movies he made a comment that he was only going to do make only 10 films we'll see if he sticks to that whichever but the casting, those are two, just two of the main characters. It's more people that are in this movie, so it's a star city cast, so I can only imagine. And I'm looking forward to seeing that. All right, the next one is Knives Out. That's uh, directed by Ryan uh, Johnson. Um, I'm looking forward to that. We have definitely a star city cast in that, just to name a few. Jamie Lee Curtis, uh, Chris Evans, Daniel Craig. It's, it's basically, it's really fully loaded. I think Michael Shannon's in this too, yes. So I could go on and on and on, but I'm definitely looking forward to that. I hear it's supposed to kind of like a murder mystery. I'm totally down for those, so I'm excited for that. Moving on, Pet Cemetery. You all know how I feel. I already told you the first one still stands up. Didn't care for the second one. It was some garbage. But I want to see what they're going to do with this. I enjoyed the react uh, the reaction that I did for the trailer. I don't want to see any more trailers, so if they show anything else, I'm probably not going to do it because I just want to go in there and see what they're going to bring to the table since after all these years, we are getting a reboot. It's been 30 years, so yeah, it is what it is. So, But moving on, the next one is Gemini Man. That's starring Will Smith. I haven't been hearing a lot on that one, but I'm curious to see how um, that's going to turn out from what I heard from the synopsis. Supposedly, he's some sort of um, you know higher killer assassin guy who's now you know on the other side of um, the law and he's being um, basically hunted down by an individual who knows his every move and that was enough to intrigue me plus he's a busy boy anyway you already know he's gonna be in Aladdin and then also he's working on some other movies which is Bad Boys 3 and then after that I think Bright 2 for Netflix again so Will Smith's a busy bee that brother stays working him and Dwayne Johnson are almost tied now the next one is Captive State I'm looking forward to that I saw the last two trailers, I really enjoyed this. Um, had a couple of people school me about some things about it because I think it's based off of a novel and didn't know nothing about it. So I said, I'm definitely intrigued. That first trailer is what got me. And then the second one kind of added a little extra layer on the storyline. So I'm definitely going to keep my eyes out for that. I know it's starring John Goodman, so I'm definitely a fan of some of his work. So I'm looking forward to that. Next one is um, Dark Phoenix. I'm hoping after the most last recent movie I saw with them, which was X-Men Apocalypse, which is just god awful i'm hoping this one is a little bit better and i'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to bring to the table i know they had to push, push back the um date for the release do some reshoots do a couple tweaking i'm hoping all the tweaking they did will make it better because i really enjoy the x-men franchise and i want to see this one do well so hopefully them honing on dark phoenix will make it even better so again looking forward to that one so another movie shazam starring zachary um um, Levi, excuse me. I'm looking forward to that. It looks hilarious from the trailer. I think another trailer is getting ready to drop sometime next year. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited to see that. So hopefully um, that one will do it for a lot of people. Because some people I know were kind of on the fist, you know, in the middle. I liked it. It's something a little different, whichever. Not everything has to always be dark and brooding through DC. And I like a little bit of funny. Nothing wrong with that. And it's a young boy inside of a grown man's body. So I'm like, let's let's get it together, people. So, But moving on. Uh, it, chapter two. You would have thought that would have been in my top 10, but no, it's not in my top 10. But I definitely plan to see it. Again, I still love the original ones from the little uh, TV miniseries. And I did love the first one that came out from the reboot. It was done very well. I enjoyed it immensely. So definitely I'm looking forward to this one. Haven't seen anything with most of the cast. They just show uh, pictures on the set when Pennywise's character came back. But I'm totally ready to see um, something else from that. Hopefully we'll get... Um, 
maybe a teaser but we might get something closer to comic con for that this doesn't come out till september so we have a long ways to go that's over damn near nine months honestly so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing that um also seeing that the casting that they have for this looks really good you know uh james mcavoy of course and then we have jessica chastain bill Hader. just quite a few names to throw out there so it looks like a great cast i'm here for it i'm looking forward to it spider-man far from home i am looking forward to that the reason being mostly because of Mysterio played by Jake Gyllenhaal. I want to see that particular character flushed out a little bit of a slight little bit of an origin of understanding, you know, his overall, you know, appearance and the meaning behind it and what he's planning to do, whichever. And of course, see more action with Spider-Man, him interacting with his friends, whatever would be nice. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. And the last one is, of course, Lion King. Yes, um, I'm looking forward to that. I love Disney. I know they're doing so many different live action, whichever, and honestly, none of the live actions are in my um, top 10. Um, I'm going to be here for all of them. I'm going to see Dumbo, Aladdin, all of them. So yes, I'm just excited to see them and see where they're going to restore. There's some other ones I know down the pike moving into 2020 and 2021. So yes, those are my honorable mentions. So let's go ahead and jump into it, you guys, because I'm ready to get into my top 10. My top 10, number 10, is Joker. I'm excited to see that. Let me just throw it out there, honestly. Director Todd Phillips, executive produced by Martin Scorsese, starring Joaquin Phoenix, Robert De Niro. That's all I need to know. But I will say this from seeing what they gather from, of course, seeing Joaquin, you know, full makeup, then of course, seeing him doing kind of like test shots, and then seeing him in a scene where it shows um, some ruckus happening on a subway in a New York subway, whichever, it was really good. And just seeing him in his full flesh suit, full costume with makeup from head to toe. I'm here for it. I really feel like with Joaquin picking this, he's not living up to any type of pressure or hype or whatever. He doesn't feed into any of that. He just likes a script. He's down for this, whichever. And the circa looks like it's early 80s, maybe late 70s, early 80s from the way they're doing it, from the timestamp of it, has me very intrigued. Some other characters are in this, Zazie Beats, she's in this. I'm looking forward to seeing her in this as well. Um, I definitely want to see his um, interaction with Robert De Niro's character and Plume's playing the father. It looks like it's going to be good. It looks like it's going to be good. I'm totally here for it. This comes out in October. Dying to see him do his thing because I will tell you that the Joker I've always liked was the one that, that was played by Jack Nicholson. And then once Heath Ledger came out, of course, Dark Knight was very good. You know, rest in peace to Heath Ledger. And... I want to see what he's going to bring us. I know some people didn't know how to feel for the little bit of time we saw for Jared Leto because of his particular um, vibe, but you never know. They might showcase him a little bit more in Suicide Squad 2 down the pike, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and go into the one that's going to be showcased by Joaquin Phoenix, and I feel like they're going to bring it. This might be one of the ones that be a, like a, a sleeper for some, whichever, like it could be a surprise hit, so I have my money on it being a, being a hit, so I'm giving it, you know that's where I'm going with it you know that casting and Martin being attached to it makes me feel very confident in saying that so but moving on number nine Terminator 6 now a lot of people we don't see anything just yet I remember knowing of course that Arnold was on board we got introduced some new characters but then the one that got me excited even more for this and totally hyped to see this is now the fact that Linda Hamilton is back I'm totally down for this I, I would have been down if it was just Arnold but that makes it even more more exciting you know for me so I want to of course know how they're going to do this because from what I'm hearing they're considering um, they're going to be slowly phased out and they're going to continue on with the Terminator from there now granted they said that you supposed to act like the other ones didn't happen so it's going to be like this is how the franchise was supposed to go one two and three so I don't know depending on how good this one is and I heard James Cameron is attached to this now I don't know we'll have to see I just know one thing with him being attached I feel very confident because he is a very much of a perfectionist. I'm hoping that his stamp on that action sequences, that damn near CGI is going to be perfect because when you think about how far they came from the first one, Terminator, and how they did Judgment Day, that bat at that time was just, people were mesmerized and it was done so very well. I was in the theater, I saw it twice and I enjoyed it so much back then. It was just awesome. I can watch it. That's another one. But I am still true to the first one. I love the first one because, again, the first one was started all. So, yeah. But, yes, both of those two, the first and second one, were the best. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to turn out. And, like I said, I have confidence in this one. This comes out in November. So, yes, I'm here for it. So, but moving on, guys. Uh, number eight, Alita Battle Angel. Again, another movie that James Cameron's attached, but Robert Rodriguez is directing. I've talked about this numerous times. I was pissed when they didn't come out in July. 
and then they moved it to December. So I thought when it wasn't going to come in July, that means December we would see something at Comic Con. Didn't get nothing at Comic Con. Then when they moved it to December, they moved it again and it moved it to February. So now it's at its standstill. We've gotten multiple React trailers. I've only done two. I didn't want to see the international trailer or anything because I knew they would give too much away. So I'm just excited to go in there and be hyped and watch this. Also, with this anime from manga, I'm very excited for the simple fact that I feel like this one will be a little bit better than what we were given with Ghost in the Shell. No offense to Scarlet, but oh no. That one was not good. And I feel like from the two trailers that I did watch, I'm very excited and hyped to see this movie. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, the casting too, Christopher Waltz, Jennifer Conley, Mahershala Ali, you can't go wrong. So I'm totally here for it, I'm down. So moving on from that. Number seven, uh, John Wick 3 Parabellum. I'm totally here for this. Let's just say it's just Kinu. It's Kinu Reese. I mean, really, what can I say? First of all, the first one, I really enjoyed. Then when they did the second one, it was good. You all saw how it ended. So now he's kind of up in there. He's on running for his life, whichever. And we're going to see him. He's definitely not going to be what looks like to be in the States. Look, he's gone overseas. You've seen um, some um, movie shots or scenes where it's him on a, on a horse. You see that some other people have been cast, one of them being Halle Berry. She's supposed to be playing some sort of assassin in the movie. We know she's been training, getting prepared, so I'm expecting some fight sequences. I'm ready for her to kick some butt. Another person has been added. I'm so excited to see this is Angelica Houston. I am totally down. So I'm definitely, definitely here for this movie. Plus, it comes out in May. That is my birthday month. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. So, but yes, totally down to see this one. So, but moving on from that, you guys. So, next one after that is Captain Marvel that is number six was it number six yeah I'm gonna do my little stuff six sorry Captain Marvel now with Brie Larson now you already know how um, that turned some people didn't mind the first trailer kind of mm, but then some people saw the second trailer it got them even more hyped you know I like both of them the first one I like the music a lot you know a couple of scenes the second one I like how you got a little bit more insight into her you know her understanding something might be going on her paths the things of that nature of course enjoying more scenes of Samuel L. Jackson young Nick Fury really good seeing uh, Marvell played by Jude Law just yeah I'm just like and then of course the, the scrolls I'm just here for it I'm just here for it I'm ready to see her as a badass we've been waiting for this you know female led from the first one for Marvel and now it's here I'm looking forward to her doing kicking some butt doing things in this one yes so that's all I gotta say it comes out in March it can't come out any faster I'm totally here I'm totally hyped for this movie so moving on from that and number five is Star Wars 9 I'm so ready to see this one the casting, of course, you already know, but there's some other people being added. Lando, played by Billy D. Williams. I'm so happy to know he's coming back. I know he's a much a little bit much older. I know they've getting him ready, they've been training him, or whichever. I'm looking forward to seeing him um, reunited uh, with Luke. I'm definitely here to see what's going to happen with a Ray. Uh, Finn and Kylo Ren, especially between Ray and Kylo Ren, the way they did them in that, in that uh, number eight. That's going to be interesting because a lot of people really did not like the last one, which was done by Ryan Johnson. You know, it is what it is. And of course, J.J. Abrams came back here. I got to come back in here and do what I did from Force Awakens and all that and get these people like damn near mesmerized again. So I'm here for it. I didn't mind eight so, so, so much. You know, some it's bad as some of the um, actors who were in the movie were getting so much crap on social media. You know, it's just, I tell you, it's, it's like people have to remind themselves, it's, you can be a lover of something, whatever, but you don't have to sit there and treat people and all that. They're just doing the job they were given with what the director gave them. Doing stuff like that and, and singling people out and bullying them and sitting in judgment. I hate that crap because I don't feel like that's a person who's a true fan. You have to act like that's somebody else. You don't have to like it, but acting like that doesn't do anything. The movie's done. It's there. Nobody says you have to watch it anymore. Move on. I'm not going to act childish over something like that, whatever. But yeah, that's just how some people, they take a little too far, whatever, and then it goes past being a fan. It becomes a little out there and not in a good way. So, But yes, I'm looking forward to this. It comes out in December around, around Christmas time. Yeah, they're going to make a rack of money. Anything else coming out at that time, I feel sorry for. So, but yes, all I got to say is Star Wars. I'm here for it. You already knew it had to be on the list. That's one of those ones I loved since I was a child. I've loved every Star Wars movie except the prequels, except the third one. The first one, the second one, just, oh God, no. I hated it. I had to suffer through that, whichever, but it is what it is, whichever. At least you can't say I'm, I'm not loyal to the Star Wars franchise, but yeah. So, but moving on from that. So, my number four is Us. 
you already saw me guys when I talked about the update when we first got some pictures from um, the magazine showcasing you know scenes with Lupita Nyong'o whichever I'm looking forward to this movie I so enjoyed Get Out I so enjoyed it so much like I told you guys I saw it four times in the theater I love that movie it was so good it was just like you'd almost think it was a, at times a, like a mine you know and just Jordan Peele winning that Oscar for you know the best screenplay I was so happy for him and now he, we have the follow-up to you know his movie whichever and from the way it looks I just feel like my mind's gonna be blown again and I'm totally here for it he cannot do wrong plus with the fact that he's being attached to working on um, reviving um, the you know, Twilight the Twilight Zone you know TV series whichever and then also working on doing either uh, I don't know if it's a sequel, but I feel like it's a more of a reboot or reimaging of a uh, Candyman. Yeah, the brothers doing the stuff with horror. You know, eventually he'll get into comedy. Who knows down the road? You know, excuse me, you guys. Um, but um, horror seems to be his thing, whichever. And you can tell he's welcomed with open arms by uh, Jason Blum from Blumhouse Productions. So he sees the, he sees dollar signs when he looks at him. So he's probably totally here for that. So, but yes, I'm totally here to see us. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. So my last three, you guys. Um, number three, Avengers Endgame. Yes. We already know everything came down to this after we saw, you know, the stuff for the last 10 years, whichever, you know, we got Avengers Affinity War, Thanos, introduction. Finally, we get to see him after all these movies, the destruction that happened just from the quickest, you know, snap. And then now we got to see how this can be fix you we already know some people are going to live because you already know we have a spider-man movie coming out we know eventually in the pike is a black panther movie coming out we know a doctor strange movie is going to be um getting the ball rolling with you know writing script and getting the production going whatever so we know some people are going to live so we just want to see what else is happening and truly who's not coming back i'm almost just scared and nervous to watch it because i'm probably going to be sad and devastated but I don't care. I need to see it and I'm going to watch it. So I'm totally down. So, but yes, I'm looking forward to it. I know that theater is going to be mad packed. Once those tickets go on sale, I'm going to have to buy my tickets with the quickness. And I most definitely plan to do that. And if that damn thing is that good, they might get me again over the weekend. Because I'm going to probably go see this Thursday night. I'm not going to do a midnight. I, I, I'm not going to do a midnight. I need to at least try to hear some of the movie. I'm going to try to do an earlier one that day. But um, yeah, now if I do it again, I'll go there just for the sheer excitement of, of the crowd. Then I might do like a Saturday night one on that. So I can already foresee. It, it, I just feel like it's going to be epic. But yeah, so. But yes, that's my number three. My number two is Godzilla King of Monsters. And I'm going to tell you, it was, it was kind of hard for that. But I'm going to tell you, I grew up watching Godzilla. I love me some Godzilla. I'm here for all the monsters. I'm here for it all. Me and a friend at work were talking about this. He's kind of bummed because he wished they didn't show all all the different monsters so far, the ones that they showed. But I'm like, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. We're going to see them when they're fighting. And that's all I really want to see. I don't care if they showed them to me already. That's fine. At least we know who he, Godzilla's going to go up against. It's going to make for good, just a good movie all around. Plus the casting in this. Oh my goodness. I mean, what Ken Watanabe, Sally Hawkins, uh, Millie Bobby Brown, Vera Farmiga, O'Shea Jackson. It's just star studded cast Kyle Ch Ch Chandler yeah it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome I if you did you see my face when they showed um, that standoff before they charged oh my god yeah I cannot wait and the thing is this is the one that I had to find out if it comes on while I'm on my vacation I'm gonna be on a cruise ship but it comes out when I get back from off my trip it's almost like it knew but anyway, but yes, I'm definitely going to see that. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so hyped. I'm excited. Oh, okay, can't wait. Oh, birthday month, birthday month. Yes, 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 yes. So, but yes. Now, my number one is Glass. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah. It comes out in two weeks. It comes out in, what, two weeks? Yeah, in two weeks. Yeah, it was almost Friday. So, I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. A lot of people, a lot of people <laughs> like to clown M. Night. I always say it like this. A lot of people don't like some of his movies. My take is this. There is no director you're going to tell me who has a, a straight body of work where you like every movie they make. Yeah, he had a couple of them, whatever. Some people want to pull out a long list. Again, there's no director who has a great body of work of movies that everybody can say, I like all their movies. I'm sorry. There's always going to be a, one or two, maybe three, maybe a couple more than that. I don't fault him for that. I will fault him, I will say, for that airbender. I don't know what the hell. He learned his lesson. He will never do it again. I can say that. And I'm not even psychic. He will never do that again. But other than that, 
there's been many movies that I love that he's done. I love him when he did Devil. I did love The Village. I didn't expect that ending, but you know what? For a director, directors are not going to do what you always want to do the first, second, and third act and make a conclusion that you all think you're going to see because you're used to assuming this is how it's supposed to end. And that's how he got to us. It literally shocked me because that's not what I was expecting. And I gave him kudos for that because that is nothing I would ever think would be the ending. And to know after all this had happened, you know, that's where they were. That's what she did. The guy didn't realize what the girl was doing and she was blind. Okay. But yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, he's done many movies that I love, whichever. When he did Unbreakable, I loved it. I love me some Bruce Willis. Of course, Samuel Jackson doing his thing as uh, Mr. Glass. And then when Split came out and then that ending, I was in the theater and it was me and another guy in there. And we were just like, are you kidding me? The people were looking at us like, what the hell are you all talking about? That's how you know they didn't know <laughs> the movie Unbreakable but it is fine I went and saw that three times I saw it the first time because I was just like entranced like did I just watch what I just watched is this really intertwined is this all together and then when I went to the second time just to kind of watch it again to take it all in the third time was just to enjoy it and enjoy it with the crowd just to get the the, 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 the gasp here and the silence here and the shock here just everything about it James McAvoy was awesome and split and then to see that it all comes together and now we're going to get glass. I'm so beyond freaking hype for this movie. This was one of my most anticipated movies since last year when I saw uh, the trailer and that M. Night was even working on it. So I have been totally waiting for this to drop. Um, so yeah, I'm planning to go see this multiple times. I already know I'm going to see it multiple times. Matter of fact, that Saturday night I'm going to a late night one just to really enjoy it at night with the rest of the crowd, whichever. And I'm just looking forward to enjoying a good damn movie. I know a lot of people are definitely excited and hyped to see this as well. But yes, my hype is like really there. Plus for the fact that the way that uh, James McAvoy did his movie Split, that had me even more hyped to see him come back in this one and go, you know, not thinking at first uh, up against Mr. Glass, but seeing that they're working together. Yeah, yeah, that did it for me. So I'm, I'm totally ready to see this. And I know that uh, some other people are in this. Sarah uh, Paulson's in this. I'm a fan of some of her work. She just... She seems to be in everything. So she stays busy. So, but yes, I'm ready to see M. Night do his thing and get everybody excited for this. And I'm glad we don't have to wait to the middle of the year to see it. A lot of people always kind of renege or feel all that great about movies coming out in January. But I like how the tide is turning. We're getting more movies throughout the year and all the different months now. There's no need for a certain months going from April down to fall, have all the great movies or hits. Move it around, stretch it, stretch it out. So now the beginning of this, of this uh, year and this month, January, we're getting a good movie. I'm so happy. Thank you for that, M. Night. So that is my list, you guys. I hope you guys will put down below which ones you all are planning to watch. It doesn't have to be 10. If you want to give me like five, and then eventually as time goes on, you all end up seeing some other things, and then you'll know what you like. So when the end of the year comes, you all can give me a bigger list because I know it's going to be large, and there's no way I'm going to really think that you only wanted to see four movies out of all these movies coming out uh, in 019. So, but with that said, you guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, my little video. And with that said, I will see you guys on the next one. You guys take care.